Hello! So, we're back. Week 9 of the Draft League. Uh, so, just quick, I guess, no, I recorded this, like, once, four hours ago? But then I real I don't know what's wrong, my throat, I think there's something caught in my throat, so, it still is, but, in my first take, I, like, spent, like, 30 minutes just because this match is actually pretty interesting, but, I guess constantly talking just made my throat just sound like it was cutting out, or, like, my voice was going to cut out, so it just sounded really bad, so I'm taking a second take. Anyways, so this week we're facing Golden, uh, and the Texas Megahorns, uh, quickly going over the team, Dragapult, very scary mon, <sighs> blistering speed, we can attack from the physical side or special side, and as overall, probably top three mons. Actually, probably not the scariest mon, just because I think, I think I'm well prepared for it, but it's still a very scary mon nonetheless. Toxipax is a wall. Always is a wall, you know. Toxic spikes, toxic haze, scald recover, regenerator, all that kind of stuff. All that shenanigans, and pretty hard for me to deal with. Sylveon. Sylveon's pretty interesting, just because I think, actually, I don't think it's coming, but Choice Specs Sylveon would be very scary for me, and I think I'd actually lose, just like right off the bat, because I'm not really well prepared for that. But every time Golden has brought Sylveon, it it is usually like a Cleric, using Wish, Heal Bell, that kind of stuff. He used Yawn once a week, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, uh, Sylveon is going to be a nuisance, but I think I could handle it unless it's offensive. Uh, Rhyperior, Rhyperior is also can be very dangerous. I saw Golden bring Weakness Policy one week, and if he brings that, it's going to be very tough for my team. Just because I find, with Golden's team, just because with, uh, I should talk about the next one when I talk about this, with Ditto, wanting to set up and maybe defend against a other possible setup, it's pretty hard with Ditto, because Ditto usually copies your stats and then uses Choice Scarf and destroys you. But I can't set up like a Dragon Dance with High Dragon, just because Ditto will always be faster than me, unless I don't have a, mo a move that... Hits me super effectively. Which I could do, honestly, but mm, probably not. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, Steelix. Steelix is kind of like a weaker Rhyperior, just because uh, they both set up Stealth Rocks. Uh, Steelix has the um, Steel type, but Rhyperior is a bit more offensive and has a bit more of a wider move pool, I say. You know, Rhyperior can run uh, Rock Polish a bit better. It has Fire Punch over, I think, Fire Fang, which probably Steelix has. So, you see, this is a good mod in its own right, but I think if Golden has to bring one or the other, it's going to be Rhyperior. But if he brings both, I'll assume Rhyperior is the more offensive one. Uh, Zatu, Zatu is interesting just because I got Teleport to this generation. Well, I say interesting a lot, but um, Teleport instead of U turn is really nice just because you uh, for sure go second. You switch out second if someone else U turns. And especially with Zatu's high speed, it usually switched out first. So, having Teleport is a nice uh, momentum bringer for Golden's team. And it also has Magic Bounce, it has Defog if you get up the, um, the Hazard somehow, but yeah. Um, beware, Beware is actually probably the mod I'm most afraid of, just because my team doesn't do well with fighting types, and especially one with a strong secondary stab. Sorry, just trying to make sure my throat doesn't go out. But yeah, like, I think it's kind of like the Vooper week where I was really scared of Toxicroak, just because it had a good song secondary stab along with the fighting type, and I think the same thing would be where here. So I'm pretty scared of it, uh, especially Swords Dance or even Choice Band, or like Choice Scarf even would be really scary. Uh, Togedemaru, Togedemaru is an alright mon, you know, it's an, um, has a, it has actually quite a few sets that, more than people expect, you know, it has uh, the Choice Scarf set, of course, you know, has a really good speed tier, has a Zing Zap and Iron Head, but then it also, I think it gets Wish, and then Spiky Shield also a pretty cool move, just because if you touch it, you get damage. So, pretty cool mon. Uh, Rotom Frost, Rotom Frost, I think, it's not the, it's not the worst Rotom, for sure, because I think that still goes to Rotom Fan for the appliances, but, you know, it has Blizzard, but it's not accurate, uh, it has Heavy Duty Boots this generation, so it's a bit better, just because it's not hampered by Stealth Rocks. And it also gets Nasty Plot, so still good mon. Uh, Blossom. Blossom has Quiver Dance, so it's a pretty interesting mon, especially as well, because unlike other Quiver Dance users, it also has Strength Zap. So, like, for those, like, quickly, like, Strength Zap, like, Quiver Dance increases your special stats and speed, right? But then, like, your physical bulk is something to be uh, left desired. So, using Strength Zap in that sense, because Strength Zap lowers your opponent's attack, so then your physical bulk kind of goes up in that sense, so it's kind of a cool Pokemon in that way. And it gets, like, you know, Giga Drain, uh, Moon Blast, I think. So, yeah. Uh, Pukumuku, the final mon. Golden has brought it a few times, and it's pretty interesting, because it doesn't really attack. It just uses Toxic and just kind of 
where is he down that way? I also really enjoy Pukumuku just because I find Golden Steam pretty interesting in that just because I think Pukumuku is one of the nice counters to Tox effects, but he has both of them, so it's kind of funny in that way. Um, just trying to see. That's weird. Well, I guess it's not that weird. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, that's his team. Uh, I think Golden's going to bring the first five and Beware. I think that's his team. Jericho Paul talks about Sylveon, Rapier, Ditto, Beware. I've seen him use a lot of mods, though. I think every mod except... Well, Blossom came once, and I think Zatu only came once, but I expect every other mod, probably. Token Mara, probably, I don't expect, but... Yeah, I think Golden's team's pretty interesting, just because, like... I'll explain it, I guess, with the team builder, but... We're running a lot of interesting sets this week, so we'll start off with uh, Gigalith. Uh, Gigalith is, like... I think I know I mentioned once, but, uh, like, from left to right, like, the left most Pokemon is a Mon, I, like, I know I for sure wanted in this game, and Gigalith is kind of that Mon, uh, it's gonna be my Stealth Rocker, and, uh, it's gonna be my main Sylveon, um, bring in, I think, just cause with Sand, my Special Defense goes up, and, uh, I can kind of hit it, but as you can see with my Moveset, I actually can't hit it that well, uh, running Earthquake, Throat Chop, Explosion. Earthquake is mainly for Toxapex. Uh, Throat Chop is for, um, Dragapult, and also for Sylveon, just cause, an interesting thing is, uh, I don't know if, uh, Golden's gonna run Hyper Voice Pixelate, just cause I also have Weezing, and if Weezing, well, actually, Weezing is actually kind of an interesting case, just cause if I use Neutralizing Gas Weezing, Pixelate doesn't, um, come into effect, so Hyper, Vo Hyper Voice would be normal type, but it actually might be better against Weezing, cause Fairy, it resists Fairy, so it's actually kind of funny that way, but Throat Chop also makes sure that I don't get hit by... Hyper Voice against Sylveon, and that's probably going to be its major move, unless unless he runs Moonblast, of course. But then, yeah, and then Explosions, mainly for something like uh, Beware, like if Beware tries to set up on this, and I feel like near the end game, I don't have many options, like I don't want to switch in, I can explode on this and then go into a faster mon and revenge kill Beware. So yeah, um, Special Defense EVs help allow me to live Spell Tag, Dragapult Hex, when I'm not statist, uh, let, let me live two of them, so I can get a Throat Chop off at least. And yeah, that's it. Just put the rest into the attack. I feel like I wanted a bit more offense on this Gigalith. I didn't go max special defense. So yeah. Um, I think every Mon here, like, I can kind of vary a lot. Uh, like, Gigalith is, uh, I can use Rock, I can use Rock Blast, of course, but it doesn't hit Rhyperior. It doesn't hit Steelix that well. It doesn't hit Togemaru. It only hits really, only really hits Zatu. Um, like, a fighting move, like Superpower or, like, Body Press, I was depending on. But, like, again, like, Rhyperior Steelix doesn't, like, can still take it even though it's weakened by it. And even though, like, a superpower will probably hit Beware better, I think Explosion might be really nice near the end game if I want to explode on Toxapex as well. Like, I think maybe Earthquake into Explosion might kill, but I'm not completely sure, especially because I'm slower, it's probably hard to tell. I could probably put in a few speed EVs, but I'll probably not. Yeah. Uh, next mon, uh, Hydreigon. Hydreigon, we have uh, an interesting set again. Like, all my sets are probably going to be interesting today. Uh, so, so first of all, with the EVs, I guess that's the most simplest part, uh, it's supposed to outrun, uh, max speed, token tomorrow. like, if it's Scarf, like, I can't do anything about it, but max speed, I can, and max special attack, just for the power, and then I put it into defense, just cause, like, if I can survive more hits from my Peer or Steelix better, like, it'd be nicer. Um, so yeah, running Dark Ball Substitute Roost Fire Blast. So my initial set with Hydreigon, it was gonna be, I can sit in on Tox effects, like, I realized, like today that it might be hard to get Hydreigon in on Toxpex without being like scalded or like risking the burn or risking a Toxic, but I think it's a pretty interesting set in this sense just because if I am in on Toxpex, I can sub up, I don't get hit by a lot of um, moves, and then I can uh, kind of th throw off Dark Pulses, and the only mon that really can take a Dark Pulse is probably Beware, but then I can Fire Blast it, and also something like Ditto. Ditto can't hit me, which is a pretty interesting thing to prep for. Just because, you know, like, like something with, like, uh, Gigalith, like, it can, like, di um, Ditto can hit me with Earthquake, but with Hydreigon, like, if Ditto switches in, he'll realize that he can't um, use any moves against me, so I can sub, sub up for free. And we're using Metronome, just because I feel like if I had this on, like, a Toxapex or a Pukumuku, I can Dark Pulse a few times over, and... Like, over time, I'll start dealing more damage, because that's what Metronome does. It, like, kind of increases the power of your move if you use it consecutively. I guess some interesting notes about Hydreigon is that even with sub, Infiltrator Dragapult will still hurt me. Like, 
um, it'll bypass substitute. And also, I guess something to relate with uh, Gigalith is that if I find out, like, with Gigalith that Sylveon is Hyper Voice, then the substitute... Like, Sylveon will bypass Substitute as well, so that's kind of something I'm kind of worried about, but then I realize I can play around it, maybe. But then if it's Moonblast, it'll only hit the Substitute, so that's also smart. You know, I actually thought about, um, dropping Hydreigon, just because I feel like it didn't do the, that well, but I feel like if I... If it's not Infiltrator or Dragapult, like, I expect I expect it to be Infiltrator, just because I don't know what else you run in Dragapult, like, Cursed Body, I guess, but... I feel like Infiltrator might be, like, much better. So, I think, yeah, Dark Pulse... Like, sub will be nice for, especially the defensive bonds, and maybe even, like, Zatu, unless it runs, like, Dazzling Gleam, but, yeah. Uh, next one, uh, Cobalion. Cobalion, I think, is taking, it's coming back after, like, a nice break from the team. Uh, we're running Andrew's set, we're running, uh, Choppleberry, Magna Rise. So, Magna Rise, uh, makes you, like, gain Levitate, essentially, so you can't be hit by ground moves. And this is basically, like, a nice check to Rhyperior and Steelix. Just because those two mons, I can kind of ma freely magnetize on, unless they have a coverage move. Like, Rapier needs to run Fire Punch, I think. And Steelix can run, like, Body Press as well. So that could be an option that he brings. But I also have Ghost. I also have um, Gorgeist, which I'm not bringing. But I have Gorgeist, so it could be kind of scary to bring something like uh, Body Press or even just Steelix in general. So, Magnetize is there for mainly... Uh, so I don't get hit by Ground-type attacks. Otherwise, I don't see what else mainly hits me, except Beware. So that's why I'm running Choppleberry, just because... I don't think, especially with uh, Beware's ability Fluffy, I don't think uh, one close combat will kill, so I think maybe two close combats will, but yeah, with that, it's, what's it called? I can run close, I can take a hit with like a Sword Stance, um, uh, Drain Punch, for, uh, let's say. Although, I'm not sure how the Calc goes, because if I close combat twice and it doesn't kill, it's essentially plus four for him, so I probably don't live that, even plus three. Like, if I'm minus one from close combat, and then he drain punches, or he swords dance and then drain punches, I don't think I live, but who knows. And Thunder Wave is there for mainly Dragapult. Like, I can't really hit Dragapult. Like, I don't have, like, a crunch or anything. Like, Kovalin doesn't learn that many moves that can hit Dragapult. So, yeah, I think if Dragapult tries to switch in, Thunder Waving it will be huge, especially for something like High Dragon, so I'm faster than it. Even if it Dragon Dance is up, it'll have to Dragon Dance up twice to really do damage there, but... I think even if it tries to Dragon Man sub twice, I will be fine. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, max HP. Just because I feel like I didn't need the speed that much. Like, sure, like, I could be outspelled like, Togan Marwins and some other mons. But I don't really feel like I need the speed. Uh, Vaporeon. Vaporeon, this is going to be an interesting set. We're running Scald, Ice Beam, Whirlpool, Rest. So, uh, first of all, like, High Dragon, like, the EVs are the simplest. Like, this helps against the raw uh, ground types. Also against Beware, especially. Also helps against Dragon Dance, uh, Dragapult. If need be, just because I have Ice Beam and I 2 KO it before it can, like, get up, like, even plus one Dragon Darts doesn't kill me. And if I really have to, I can Scald it to burn it, but... Or it, ha it has to risk a Scald burn if I go for it. But yeah, um... Vaporeon... Mainly my switch into the Water types as well, just because Toxapex is going to be huge. And I would usually run something like Heal Bell, but something I learned from the game against Exus, like, week four, is that... Heal Bell can be stalled out, especially with Toxic, and even with a slower, even with Vaporeon being faster, it's gonna be a bit tough to deal with Toxic effects if I'm Toxic, so I thought Rest would, was a cool tech, I also thought Whirlpool was a really cool tech, just because I could Whirlpool Toxic effects and trap it, because he's not gonna run like Shed Shell, realistically, so I could run Whirlpool, and then I could Rest up, like, negate his Toxics, and then, like, switch out afterwards, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Scald, Ice Beams, Ice Beams mains for Dragapult, Scalds for everything else. I th actually thought about a lot of the sets with, uh, Vaporeon, is, like, I thought about using Yawn, something that Golden used. thought about using, uh, Rest Talk, uh, Rest Sleep Talk, and then Roar. So, like, if Dragapult tries to set up on me, or Rhyperior, I can kind of roar it out and just kind of negate that setup. And, yeah, uh, I just wanted to cover something, I forgot. Cobalion, I thought about using Bolt Switch, but, you know, like, it'd be nice momentum, but I kind of wanted to use Thunder Wave, just try it out. And Gigalith, I think something to note, note is that Sandstream helps Rhyperior out. Like, I can nearly Oko with Scald here, but with Sand Up, it will be able to live with Scald. So I guess that's something that, that might have to come to play near the end. Oh, and one thing about High Dragon, uh, not High Dragon, Vaporeon, is that I have Hydration. Hydration is there mainly for Ditto, just because... 
I think on face value with Water Absorb, Ditto is a very good counter to Vaporeon. Just because if I have Water Absorb, it copies Water Absorb, and then I can't do anything to it. Of course, I can't do anything to me, but I can't do anything to it, which might be a bit uh, a bit bigger down the if we play a longer game versus a shorter game. So yeah, Hydration allows me to Whirlpool it and then rest up if I have to. Um, so yeah, Corvo Knight, you kind of saw it. Uh, running Pressure, and then we're running Payback, Body Press, Iron Defense, Roost. I originally had this set as Payback, Brave Bird, Roost, Defog, but then I kind of thought about it, and I kind of don't need Defog on this, for this game, I think. It might be good for the last Pokemon in, for Stealth Rocks, especially because Norlax doesn't really like Hazards, but... The first five Mons, like, especially with Talk Specs and Toxic Spikes, the only one that really gets crippled by Talk Specs is Gigalith. Just because Sor um, so I call it Sorin. Hydreigon uh is has Levitate, Cobalion is not affected by poison, Vaporeon, I can rest up on Tox Effects, and Corviknight is flying, so it's not affected. So yeah, I actually decided not to bring Defog this uh, week, which is pretty interesting. Um pressure is there for Tox Effects just because if I had to play the long game, I might have to pressure out Tox Effects' moves, maybe even Puka Moogus, but I don't think I can just because it can soak me and then I can be affected by Toxic, so there's that. Excuse me, so, um, I decided to run Payback, Water Press, Iron Defense, Roost, mainly for Beware, just because I was running Brave Bird for Beware, but just because I didn't have Roost anymore, I didn't have Defog, sorry, <coughs> it's that I can Iron Defense up on Beware and then kind of kill it with Body Press. Of course, Darkest Lariat, which Beware learns, ignores stat changes from your opponent, so it can plus, it can Swords Dance up and Darkest Lariat. But but my body press isn't my body press still takes into account the iron defense so I think I can beat it one on one, which is the main thing. And then this also helps against physical dragapult, which is gonna be I think he's gonna bring uh, physical. It's gonna be really hard to judge the dragapult set. I think like actually I'll talk about it after Snorlax, which is the last mon and probably the wildest mon. I'm gonna I allow this to sit in for a sec. We are running Special Snorlax. Here's the thought process. I was looking for something that can hit Toxapex well, but also take a burn. Just cause my main special walls, Snorlax and Gigalith I find, maybe a Ludicolo a bit, are weak to Scald Burns. And then something like Ludicolo also gets hit by Toxic really well. And then something like Duosion, can get hit by drag it's really weak to dragapult because it, it can magic bard magic guard and not be affected by burns and love but it can hit by dragapult which is not that great for me so i decided to bring special snorlax which is actually pretty i don't know it might be stupid it's probably stupid it might be genius but yeah um also another thing is this is my main special like if dragapult's special this might be my main counter to it so it's kind of like it's nice between Corviknight and Snorlax that I can guard both types of Dragapult, but I lose to Beware hard, so that's why Beware is a bit more scary. Because I originally had Gorgeist in this slot, but Gorgeist only really blocked Beware. Like, I didn't like it against all the other mons. I could Will-O-Wisp, like, the ground type, I can Will-O-Wisp some stuff, but it felt a bit too passive for this week. So I decided to go with Snorlax. And, uh... With max special attack, I'm not too at KOing Tox effects, but I think, especially with the with the special defense drop, I might be. I'm not sure. And then Ice Beam is mainly for Dragapult. Hydro Pump is for Rhyperior. So like instead of Scald on Vaporeon, I can Hydro, Hydro Pump on uh, Rhyperior, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Hydro Pump also hits Steelix, and then Gunk Shot is mainly for Sylveon, which uh, hopefully works. And uh, ability I'm going with Immunity, just because yeah, I don't mind getting hit by a lot of Blizzards by Rotom Frost. Having immunity might be nice, just because I can't be toxic, I can't be hit by toxic spikes, so this might be a pretty interesting set. Pretty stupid set, though. And then Mac2P match special attack, so that's the team. And, uh, yeah. It's a pretty interesting thing. I have to under I have to find out which uh, set Dragapult's running. It might be uh, pretty clear from team preview. Just, like, if, like, he's not bringing, like, Rhyperior or Beware, like, it might be, it's probably a physical Dragapult, but if he brings a lot of physical mons, it's probably a special Dragapult, so, yeah. Um, mons I didn't bring, Weezing. Weezing was a pretty interesting pick, but I just think it loses to Dragapult too hard, just because, like, even though it hits it super effectively, it also hits Sylveon super effectively. Um, can will -O can Haze, can Defog. I think that's a big omission from Vaporeon set, but I like it the way it is, like, Haze, like, if, like, Rhyperior should switch in. But, yeah, um... 
he might be a bit uh, hesitant to bring setup just because I he knows I have haze, so he might just bring like specs dragapult or something. But yeah, uh, Weezing, yeah, just felt like it lost a bit hard. Uh, it, it just felt like Weezing wouldn't really suffice in this game. Like I could Thunderbolt the uh, Tox specs, but it wouldn't do that much unless I had special attack bulk, special attack investment. And this natural bulk is alright, but I think having this, having Snorlax as my special wall was a bit more valuable. Um, what else? Raichu, Alolan Raichu could be, could have been really good, just because it can Grass Knot Rhyperior, it can Surf Steelix, but, and it can hit Beware super effectively, but it kind of loses to Dragapult too hard, it also loses to Sylveon pretty much. So, and also Togedemaru, because Togedemaru gets Lightning Rod, so my, my, I can't Volt Switch out on it while I can U-turn and super effective hit me. So that's a thing. Uh, Gorgas, Gorgas was like the mon I cut, like, I literally had Gorgas on this team four hours ago, like, no, like, like five hours ago, I want to say, like, before I recorded my first take of my team builder, I had Gorgas on the team, and, like, I was running Shadow Sneak for Dragapult, I was running will -O for the fighting times, and I really liked Leech Seed, just because he has no resistance to Leech Seed, except Blossom, and Blossom doesn't do really well. Actually, it does kind of well against Squirrel Guys, but I didn't think he was bringing Blossom, so I think Leech Seed would have been nice. And I was running Substitute, I think, just to block. Same like same thing with Hydreigon, same mindset, but then I can switch in with Squirrel Guys, is to block Toxic, block Soaks. I'm not sure, actually. It might not block Soaks, but like blocking Toxics and like not, um, not being able to be, the sub being able to be broken by Scalds. Uh, would be really nice, but I just felt like it was too passive for this game. A bomb snow, a bomb snow. I actually really toyed with just because, like, I talked to a friend like after I recorded my first time. I'm like, yo, I'm actually thinking about bomb snow just because in my first take, I was like, oh, a bomb snow might actually be really nice, but I feel like I couldn't compress a bomb snow into like a nice roll. Like, I was gonna run a focus sash, gonna run like leech seed because I thought I liked what I liked the the leech seed idea from Gore guys. Um, I could have run physical or special just because. Uh, Physical uh, sets would re do really well against, uh, what's it called? Um, if I ran physical, it would have worked nicely in tandem with Hydreigon. Because I feel like with Golden's team, you might want to run either physical or special defensive tox effects. Because, um, actually, no, it might be physical. See, this is where, like, Golden's team gets interesting. Just because Hydreigon gets walled by Sylveon, basically. So you might, so that's your special wall. Which means tox effect is probably your physical wall. Well, then something like Snorlax can hit Toxpec super effectively with special moves. But then, like, because I originally thought that Toxpec might be the special defensive wall. And that's where something like physical uh, Obama Snow might come in. But I think Obama Snow losing to Sylveon pretty hard just because I feel like Golden will bring Mystical Fire on Sylveon. Like, even though it might not be offensive, Mystical Fire still hits, like, Corviknight a bit better than Hyper Voice. But Mystical Fire completely destroys Obama Snow. So bringing Snorlax here as my, like, secondary check would be nice. It is nice, sorry. Uh, Ludico, Ludico is actually the only one I didn't think about bringing, just cause I didn't, like, I didn't see a use for it out of the other ones. Like every other mon, I actually thought about bringing at one point, except Ludico though. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Uh, Duosion, Duosion is nice. Like I explained it with the Snorlax set. Um, it would get hit by something like Bew um Steelix Hard with like Heavy Slam, but it could set up like maybe Reflect. I've seen that before. Reflect Duosion, like screens uh, Duosion, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, I just it just loses the Dragon Ball too hard. So. That's it. Uh, Thursday. It's Thursday afternoon right now. I don't know when I'm going to play Golden, so I will see you guys and girl and everyone else. Then. Okay, we're live and you're seeing my chair at my door and I don't care that much right now. I just changed my setup around a bit, that's why. Um, Facing Golden, let me just challenge him just because I have to. Also changed our avatar. I'll see it once we get in game. Challenge. Make sure he is the right team. Just make sure we didn't change anything. And yeah. So, what and I are actually doing a smoke on puzzle hunt together. So, that's actually kind of a funny thing. Oh my gosh, he didn't bring beware. Yes, that's amazing. Okay, so beware didn't come. That's number one great thing. Um, sorry, I'm just texting. Or I guess met Discord messaging. But um, let's see. Okay, let's just hide this as well. I'm just changing my avatar. You like the avatar? 
Um, so I think no matter I think no matter what, I actually am gonna lead. This is probably special T spikes scarf. Hmm. It's gonna be a problem if this is body press Steelix. That's the only time it's gonna be a problem. Uh, we're gonna lead. We're, not, we're gonna lead Cobalion. We'll see what he does. It's Dragapult. Okay. I do want to get a Thunder Wave off on this if I can. But I am worried it is DD. He's probably wondering what I can do. This might be sub. That's what I'm worried about. What do I need this for? This is basically a revenge check to Steelix, and that's mainly it. If he hasn't clicked sub now, then... If he clicks sub, I lose, but... Shadow Ball, interesting. That might be specs. We will check, because I have my damage calc. Dragapult, X, Cobalion. Uh, Shadow Ball. That might just be, like... What's it called? No, that's Specs. Okay, so we know that much. We'll go Gigalith then. That's our safest play. Um, or actually Snorlax is, but then both kind of bring in uh, Steelix. I'm going to go Snorlax anyways. Go Sylveon. This is great. I might just Gunk Shot. Yeah, because uh, actually both my both the mons I was thinking of would uh, force this out. So I'm going to go for Gunk Shot here. If you went for Yawn, that's fine. I'm going to Gunk Shot. We'll see how much this does. It's actually physically defensive. Because... Actually, no. That actually might... No, that's not. Just because that should do a KO. Uh, especially the offensive one. So that's good. Uh, we'll go Snorlax. Sorry, Gigalith. He goes for Wish. We go for... So he's Yawn. That's good to know. We'll go for Rocks. He goes for Protect. I'll Throat Chop here. I don't know if Yawn's a sound-based move. That's fine. We'll throw chop. Doesn't do that much. Probably getting up his own rocks. I'm gonna go. Kind of want to go um, Snorlax, but I'll go Vaporeon. Yep. Uh, let's see what he's gonna do. I kind of want to double back, but I'm kind of worried if because I don't. I just don't want to be in a position where yeah, this comes in. That's the main thing. I do get the burn, which is nice. I could go Lax. I don't want to go Hydreigon just yet. Hydreigon's actually pretty useless in this game, which is actually kind of funny. Especially because if this is body press, it's really useless. It's either T-Spikes or... Hmm. I just don't have Defog, but just something I have to remember. It is Knock, so that's fine. So I could have gone Hydreigon, but that's good to know. Uh, he might stay here into believing I'm physical, so I'm actually going to Psychic. Yeah, and I'm Immunity. Don't ask. Um, uh, what do I want to do here? So I'm going to switch out, but into what? We'll go High Dragon. We'll, we'll play this offensively. You guys will recover. We're going to sub. Because especially if this is Specs, which I believe it is, that's much more better for me because then I know it's not choiced. So that's fine. This might be Hyper Voice, so we're gonna go Gigalith here. It is Hyper Voice, so that's good to know. Um, and then we're gonna Earthquake. It's either Pex or Steelix is coming in. Would I have killed from that range? That is offensive, Snorlax. My Snorlax is 26, so how much did I do? 38? 36, so that's actually physically defensive. Yeah, okay. So I actually might have killed from there. So I probably should have gone for Psychic. What am I going to do here? He probably has Body Press. That's probably the thing he's going for. So I'm going to go Corv. So Yawn, Wish, Protect, Hyper Voice. Okay, that's fine. Let's go for Earthquake. I am going to... I think I might just Body Press. No, he's going Tox. If he goes Tox, what do I want to do? I don't think it will matter too much. It won't predict too hard. That's fine. Just because 
Snorlax kind of counters, but I kind of also want to go Gigalith. I'll go Gigalith. I'm not playing. I'm not trying too hard this game, but I'm nice. It's nice to see what he may bring. Happens. I think I'm gonna go. It looks like he doesn't have defog here either. I don't think he has defog. Throw chop. I could throw chop or I could. His play is Steelix, so I might go. I'll go with that. He probably knows I don't have. Uh... It's good to know he has Toxic though. Because I can kind of stall this out now if I wanted to. Yeah, so. Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll pull. I'm faster than him, which is pretty interesting to see. We'll scald here. Burn. Yep. Four to five turns, right? Four to five turns. So right now it's one turn, two turns, rest. So I'm playing this kind of aggressively just because... Like I said, I didn't care. Like I kind of, I kind of do, but it's not the end of the world if I don't win this. Just because I feel like I'm not bringing optimal sets here. That's one turn. That's two turns. I'm gonna stay in here. It doesn't really matter. It's called Hyper Voice. He's gonna wish, so I'm gonna scald. Okay, I don't kill it. That's fine. Hmm. He's basically dead, so I'm gonna rest. Did he hyper voice or wish? He hyper voiced. Not the end of the world, just because I know this is specs. Rotom Frost, that's fine, I think. Because this is nearly a sack. This Gigalith is now dead to me. Yeah, that's fine. 17.9. I think that's not anything too particular. Rotom Frost. Uh, well, it's with 17.9. How much did it do? 17.9. So that, that was min. So that's good to know if it's heavy duty boots, which I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, okay. Will Earthquake. He might Iron Head. U turns. That's fine. I can let this go down. Let's see if I see my friends online, just so I can send them the game. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, let's see. No, he's not. Okay, so we'll just leave it. He goes Rotom. I go Snorlax here. And I... He has to worry I like Fire Punch or something. He might just Blizzard. Hydro Pump might be my strongest move. I want to check this out, actually. This is just a fun set I brought. Relax. Hydro Pump and Gunk are do the same amount, so... Poison Chance is better, but Hydro Pump hits more. We'll go for Gunk. We'll go for Water. That's fine, because I went for Hydro. Don't ask. Uh, we'll go... Go Hydro again. He Volt Switches. Thing is, without Leftovers, this kind of gets sucky, but I think it's okay. Just because if he goes Tox, I can kind of... Yeah, I can kind of go... Hmm. I'm actually going to stay in the Psychic. Hope for some drops. Just because he can't do much to me except Scald. If, I, if this goes down, that's fine. Okay, yeah, he stays in. That's fine. I'll go before round. He's gonna he's gonna try to recover stall me. That's the thing. He goes Togue. That's smart. Uh, we'll go. I think we might go Corv. I believe this to be Scarf. He might U-turn. He's either U-turning or Zing Zapping. 
not the thing. So you might protect this. I'm gonna actually stay in. Yeah, he U turns, see? So Ron Frost comes out, doesn't take anything. Um blah blah blah. Probably a little volt switch. I will You know what? I'm just gonna stay in all three turns. Yeah, he's gonna volt switch, it's not gonna kill me. How much do you from do? 14.2. I got my left to use still, right? Yeah. We're gonna do it again. He zings out. Okay, that's fine. Because I believe this will be scarfed, so we're gonna go Hydreigon. We're gonna sub. Just because with this paralyzed, I'm faster than everything. Especially if this is scarfed, yeah. And I get a roost off. I should roost, right? Yeah, I'm gonna roost. So that is scarfed. Tries to go for it again. I can. I can try and sub up here. Wait, let me just make sure that with my current spread, Hydreigon kills. Uh, Dragapult in one. Because if it doesn't, that might be a problem. Okay, no, 100%. Okay. So I can sub up freely here. He's not infiltrated. Okay, that's fine. So I have Fire Blast for this. Please hit. Oh my gosh. So this is now a problem. What did I do last time on this? I did go Steelix. I did go Corv. I don't remember that. There's Hyper Voice, or less. I might Zap's dead yet. Earthquake, he went in Dragon Pole. So I might go for Payback here. Okay, he stays in, Roar, and Snorlax was dragged out. That's fine. If I, do I kill with Fire Blast? That's the thing I need to know. Steelix, let's say defensive. Soren 62.1 to 73, I don't. Stilthrook, Earthquake, Roar. Magnet Rise. He's either Roaring or he's going into like Rotom. He shouldn't go into Toke. Yeah, that's fine. Because he can't. Whatever hits me here can't kill Corv, can't kill Hydreigon, and I can go into Hydreigon kind of freely. Lovely. Well, Iron Head here. Yeah, he lets this go down, that's fine. Toxifex comes in. Hmm. Thing is, do I need this? I need this at full health, because body press actually kind of wins. Especially if I don't get paralyzed. So I actually might close combat here. I just want to see if I actually die to something. Pex, Cobalion. Scald, especially if I'm minus one. 26.4, so I do die. I'm going to go for Iron Head here once. Flinch, that happens. Iron Head, I'm going to Iron Head until he... Yeah. Oh, that happened. Well... Stealth or Earthquake Roar. Probably Toxic, because if he had Body Press, he would have gone for it. See, now he's thinking of it just because he can kind of win with Togue if he lives. I like his team, although I felt like Beware was such an easy bring against me. Yeah, he goes Steelix. Yeah, I die. I think I sub Steelix. 
Or it says High Dragon. I just bought three attacks. No, that's not me. High Dragon. I might. This, this is gonna. This is actually a pretty close game. High Dragon Fire Blast does kill. But the thing is, do I want this in on? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna go for Fire Blast here. I could go for Roost. That actually might be an interesting play. Because if it's down to Corviknight Talk Specs, I actually win. I'm going to Fire Blast here. Let's go Togue. He has the Iron Head here, so... Or you can U-Turn. How much does U-Turn do? That actually might be huge. Togue Toy Scarf. U-Turn 41.08 to 49. Hmm. If it U-Turns, though... Rotom Frost... It's gonna be faster than me, that's the thing though. Corviknight. Uh... Discharge is 64, Voltage is 56, shit. Hmm. I have to... Roost and get the roll. Yeah, that's GG. Roll. I can body press here freely. If he has to throw with a willow. Or... If he goes Pex here, I actually might be able to win. He goes Pex. I'm gonna be faster. I'm gonna roost. Hmm. So all this 15 to 18. If I get burned, I lose. No, I don't lose. But the thing is, if I roost, he might switch out. Togue. Does Togue die to a body press? It does. Rotom also dies to a body press. So actually, my play might just be to roost. Hmm. Just because two out of three... If I, if I body press and I kill one of these, the, one of these come in and I just lose. So I have to roost here. Even if he switches out. Yeah, I have to roost. Hmm. Is my play just roost, roost stalling? How much does a Togo Demaru Toy Scarf Zing Zap do to me? Thirty-eight. Yeah, I can't do any. I can't do anything except roost on Togo coming in. So I have to roost here. 65, jeez, that's just so much. That must be modest. Hmm. Thing is... He has the Zing Zap. That's the thing. He has the Zing Zap. So I'm gonna roost here. Zing Zap. I get the roost off. I heal more. So 43.5 was actually max. No, that's 45. Two max. Uh, I'm gonna actually really calculate this down because this I could win this. Technically, I could win this. 83. 0.4 chance to 2k after the leftovers. I iron defense here. I roost up here. Because he's down to 9, he's down to technically 5 Zing Zaps. That doesn't even do a KO me, so that's huge. So, let's say he's t bold Let's say worst case scenario right now. Plus 2, there's 23 max. 20%. Rotom Frost... Thunder, not discharge. We're gonna calc thunder. Thunderbolt, sorry. 72 to 85. Huh. So what do I do? I think I iron defense again. He goes Pex. Iron defense again, like there's nothing else I can do. 
I get burned, which sucks, but I have to roost here. I got my not my lefties knock off. Fourteen, twenty nine, forty, twenty one, sixty one. I have enough. Thing is, you can't do anything to... Kind of has to crit a Zing Zap, or he has to have Thunderbolt. That's the thing. Actually, no, even T-Bolt doesn't do that much, so now this is... Twenty-nine, fifteen. so that's 15, 8, 23, 7, right, 23, 7, now it's 14, so 14, 8, 22, 29, 29, 11, 40. 40 to my 61, so I just need to conserve my body presses. Yeah, so I can iron defense here. I have to roost soon. The thing is, I'm going to be playing with fire. I have to roost here. No. I'm going to iron defense here. Yeah, especially because these things crit. I have to roost here. This is the, 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 see. This is this is the game that I expected to play. Okay, I roost. Body press kills. T bolt doesn't. So he probably is going back into tox effects, but I can't risk that. Is if I, yeah, he volt switches. That's fine. Actually, no, it's not. That's a choke. Just cause if he went toke, he won. I'm gonna roost here. I wish I had Assurance here. I feel like Assurance would have won me the game, possibly. The Roost here. Payback here. Oh, if Toxic fails. Thing is, Togue is always his switch in. Oh, you guys can't see what this is, but I said otherwise I would have just told you to go road him and kill me while I pay back. So body press here. <coughs> just cause Togue I feel like Togue's just his play, but See what this kind of said I should have been specially defensive, just because I bought just because I have iron defense. Yeah, 15. I'll be safe and roost here. Just because we have to condition this. Yeah. He recovers. Iron defense. And then I'm going to body press here. He goes tail. Yeah, that's it.
Yeah, it was always a game I wasn't going to win, but this was a pretty cool team. Uh, I don't have to go into this too much. Kind of don't want to. Thank you. I don't ask him to post the results. So I can just kind of quickly go through this. I'm just seeing if he is. Just because... I like this T-Wave, but he should have gone for Fire Blast. Realistically, but... Or I should have gone Snorlax, realistically, but... This happened. Gung shot. That was physically defensive, so that was good to know. Eagleith. I dealt with the Sylveon well, I'll say that much. But I think letting Hydreigon go was kind of a misplay. But I think I had to kind of bank on it. I think that was the only thing that I really wasn't proud of. Yeah. This getting burned isn't the worst thing in the world, because I would have exploded on something otherwise. You turn killed, which is actually pretty surprising to me. Run and Frost, Wisp, I Hydro Punk. Uh, just want to make sure because I, I like almost forgot I was recording. So, yeah, this happened. Psychic. I feel like turn. Let's see. Was it turn like ten? Here I should have psychic psychic again. Like if I got rid of this, is it was huge. But, yeah. Just because it kind of gets a bit of a nuisance once it gets the HP back. You turned here. I, I I said fully that I was staying in, like, no matter what. Maybe I should have switched there, but I didn't have any good switches except, like, this. This was nice to see that this didn't break sub. So I subbed here. I roosted. Silix comes in. If I hit this Fire Blast, it would have been really nice. Like, that just sucks. Payback. He roared, which was really nice for me. I payback um, expecting... This Iron Head, the flinch kind of felt crucial, but his Dragapult was neutered in a sense. So I, I just Iron Headed until I died. Close combated, Fire Blast, got the kill. See, here, here here's probably my only mistake, but I don't know it is if it is a mistake, just because if I go into Corv, I take rocks, I might live a T-Bolt. But yeah, so when I switched to the um, Iron Defense, I should have gone for a special defensive EVs. Yeah, I said that's GG here, but he kind of let me come back a bit, just because he let uh, Togue stay in, and I got stuff done. And then Togue comes in, and then I kill Togue, so that's differential. That's it for this week. Uh, next week, I think we're facing Freddy. And also, one thing is, I'm actually going to be away Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so I will have no internet access, so I kind of have to play by Friday, which is something I'll probably have to tell Freddy once it happens. But yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, so, under 30 minutes. Not bad. So yeah, see you guys next week.